Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can resize your website in Canva. So, to start to even use this feature, you need something called Canva Pro. And if you don't want to use Canva Pro, you can also use something called Canva Education. Uh, it's something you get if you're in a school or in a university that has a program with Canva. And you could uh, register to get uh, Canva Pro. Canva Pro and Canva uh, Education is uh, almost the same with just a couple of minor differences and I'm lucky enough to have a Canva Pro in my website here. And to again to even use this uh, feature you, you do need to use to have Canva Pro or Canva Education or any of its variants in the future but to start uh, go to your website here right and then go on the left upper side here to resize and then you can click on search resize option there's also a suggested you can also browse by category here uh, let's see on the suggested one you can see resize it to an a5 document or an instagram story instagram post mobile video twitter post logo i'm going to try to resize it into an a5 document here you can also uh, pick which pages to resize in my case, I'm just going to try to resize all of them, right? You can copy and resize. So when you copy and resize, it'll uh, copy this design into a new one and then resize it. Let's try copy and resize right there. And it will take a little bit of time to have to process. Just give it a tiny second. There you go. Now let's click on open A5. This is a new design they created right there as you can see our website earlier has been returned into an a5 website here and it's not a a simple uh exporting it to a png and then stretching it out but no it's been dynamically uh resized like this so all of the elements are still intact still good and still in its proper aspect ratio now let's go back and let's do another one in here let's go to resize again and this time let's do a custom size i want it to be uh 720 by 720 so it's a square right let's resize this design this time directly on the webs on this current design but this time i'm only going to resize the second page done but if you want to resize the second page, you need to copy and resize. If you want to resize only one of the pages or all of the pages, then you can only resize this design. But nevertheless, I'm going to resize only this page and I'm going to click on copy and resize yet again. Again, give it a second. There you go. Open. And now you can see this page only is the one that's resized and it's a square seven 720 by 720.